The peace God means for us is not world peace it is shalom, which means completeness, soundness, prosperity at all levels of our lives. The English language limits peace peace as shalom and the Hebrew gives us the full dose of the peace the everlasting Father has in mind for you and for me. Jesus says in John 14 v 27 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world giveth so I give to you. This means there is world peace and there is his peace. How does the world give peace? You pay for it. Big time. Some must go to psychiatrists to try to get peace of mind. Some must take tablets before they can sleep. Some must pay for bodyguards for bodily peace. World peace is not cheap. One of my famous Hollywood friends at one time had 15 bodyguards. Imagine the monthly bill. At $1,000 per week x 4 weeks x 15 equals $60. Oh, oh, oh slash month. That's a good annual salary for developed countries. For developing countries that could be 10 years salary. To have peace, he would rent a whole hotel floor for peace and security reasons. These expensive hotel rooms, some $300 minus $500 per night, could remain empty for a whole movie shoot of a month or more. So just one room at $300 x 30 equals $9,000 per room. Worldly peace is not cheap. When you look at the Hebrew root word for peace, shalom, two related words are, shalom paid for in shalom fully paid my dearly beloved in Christ. On this world peace day, I have good news for you. His peace is peace fully paid for at the cross. He paid for your peace with his blood. You have blood bought peace. He gave up his life for you to that peace. When you became born again, you entered into a covenant of peace with the Prince of Peace. Again, Jesus meant, the peace I am going to give you is free, fully paid for. In Isaiah 54 VRS 10, he says his covenant of peace with you is forever. He covers you, like an insurance coverage, with his blood. Your peace is fully paid for. Peace of mind, heart, soul, all paid for by his finished work at the cross. Glory. In Isaiah 66 he says he will extend peace to you like a river. Even in the midst of your storms, may he give you perfect peace. The kind of peace that enabled him to sleep in a boat with raging storms while his disciples, who had not yet understood who he was, could only think they would perish. Is that not our case sometimes? We forget who H E is. In Isaiah 26 VRS 3, he promises to keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him and trust in him. So no matter what it is, eat his word, drink his word. Walk in his word, and do his word with fear and trembling, keep your mind stayed on him, and yes, as he promises in Psalm 119 VRS 165, great peace will be yours. Great peace will be for your children too. Isaiah 54 VRS 13 A blessed lifetime of peace to you. Go and share his good news. Our gospel of peace is for everlasting peace in him, daily. Let's pray that many more will be reconciled with him. Become born again and gain his peace for they can never find it in sex, money, any man or woman it is only available through the Prince of Peace in his covenant of peace. As the world celebrates World Peace Day, you can celebrate everlasting daily peace, fully paid for by a covenant that will never be breached. The peace God means for us is